All right, so we're about to leash up Onyx. Now, see the routine he's doing right now? He's gonna throw that leash over his shoulder. We have the leash, just gonna walk up to Onyx. He's not gonna call Onyx, he's just gonna put Onyx on the leash and collar. If you wanna know why we throw that leash over our shoulder, watch the first the video in this series, rather. And again, we're not calling him to us or anything. We're just gonna chase him down. Very important to do this because we're in an area where he can't run away from us, obviously. He's indoors, so this teaches him a very valuable life lesson. Don't run from me. You won't be able to outrun me, yes? As long as you maintain a nice, steady pace, you're gonna be good. There you go, good, good, good. There you go, good, good, good. There you go, good. There you go, good job, good. Just like an alpha dog would do, yes? Eventually, the dog will start running up to you and wanting to have the leash put on him. But all of your time is recess. Speaking of recess, Kino. Good, 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 good settle. Good settle, good Coco. And I want him to be antagonizing his cousin, so we might have to put Coco up. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Very good handling there. Good, good, Isao. Good settle. Good settle, Cora. Good, good, good. Start to slow down, please. Come to a stop. Slow down and come to a stop. Very good. Soft pressure. I'm surprised. Quite, fr oh, Bentley barking. Quite frankly, I'm surprised that he didn't sit on his own, okay? That's okay. Now, step away from him, please. Take the leash off of your hand, please, during this exercise. Take the leash. Don't drop it. Just don't, don't, loop, your, don't loop yourself. Keep him, keep the leash on you. Walk around him, please. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good. Very good. Apply pressure. Calm. Let the pressure go. The moment the dog sits down, you're going to let it go. So what we're doing is, when we come to a stop from a heel, we're applying pressure up towards our right shoulder blade. I'm going to show you guys that again very, very here soon. But if he isn't touched when he's at a sit, we imply the stay. So he has to stay put. It's all. Hey man, you're making me sound stupid. You're making me talk good down. I'm discombobulated because of him. Good, good, good. Now touch him and start to walk, please. So it's either touch or release. You could also give the command heel as a release. The touch or the command to release. Good. T turn, nip. You gotta nip a little quicker. Nip a little quicker. Nip, nip, nip. Don't pull. Nip. So when you're healing with a dog and the dog is lagging behind, you don't want to pull and bite. You want to nip. So they're both bites. A nip is just a very quick one. A bite. Hi, baby. Good, good, good. Good sit. She thought I told her to heal with me. Bless her little heart. Good sit, baby. All right. Good, good, good. Very good, good. Turn to your left, please. See, he just doesn't want to work. He's very dominant. Slow down, turn to your left. Come to a stop. Good, good, good. See, so being stubborn. Good, good, sit. Walk away from him, please. Good, extend your leash out. Remember what I told you, take, keep the, do not loop your hand, please. Don't loop your hand, Cranberry. Do not put the leash through. Good, good, crazy. Good roll over, baby. Don't put, because I need you to be fluid, okay? Very good, walk around him please. It's good that you put the loop through your hand for sure. I like that you do that. Just for this particular exercise, let's not do that please. Good job. Very good, beautiful, beautiful all the way around. Good, perfect, I love that. Extend the leash out and let it go, calmly. You did that, oh. So see, your body language inadvertently. No, don't let him get to your left, for the love of God. Put it back to where he's at, don't let him get to your left. Don't let him get to your left, for the love of God. You're doing it all wrong. You're doing it all wrong. Okay, so let's learn from this, okay? So the dog moved three feet and Cranberry did a whole ridiculous figure eight of sorts and put the dog back on his left-hand side. It's imperative that if the dog breaks the stay, you lead him back two or three feet, whatever distance he moves, doesn't have to be the exact same spot, but it's so important that you don't let the dog get on your left-hand side. Cranberry, the leash, but come on. The leash, there you go, you're doing good. You're doing good, you got it. Walk around him again, please. Very good. Cranberry is an older gentleman, so he's got some movement issues with his hands, arms. Drop the, let the leash down. Put the leash down, let it go. Put the leash down, please. Oh, man. You just, so again, just bam, let the leash go, yes? There was a little bit of play there with the leash. I am nitpicking because Onyx is a poodle. He's very, very smart. All those little things this dog is gonna pick up on. Good stay, good, 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 Coco. Good, 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 good baby. I think she thinks I told her to stay. So watch what I'm gonna do. Step, step away from him. Under the leash. Good down. Beautiful. Go bananas. See? She probably thought I told you. Stay put. Bless her heart. Good, good, good. You don't have to work, baby. We're not training with you. Good down, Papa. Good stay. Look, he's got cousins. He's got all his dogs walking around him. 
That's fantastic. Cranberry, walk around him, please. Good stay. If he gets up, you're going to go and put him back in the position that he was in without putting him at your left. Remember, what is it that we don't want to do during a stay? We don't want to put, let them get back on their left and we're taking them back to their spot. All right? If you don't already follow us on Instagram, you should. Check it out. Good stay. Shooting that video for YouTube. Look, the dog's killing it. Yeah? And the good news, guys, is Cranberry's made a lot of handling mistakes. And the dog is out, outperforming him. So that's always good and you get to learn, yeah? Good, 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 good. Good. Awesome. Dude, that's unbelievable. Step into him, please. It's imperative, yes? Ignore the leash. Stand next to him. Pause for three seconds. One, two, three. Go down to pet him. Now stop petting, now stop it. Good job, buddy. Walk away from him. Beautiful. You gotta mix it up, yeah? Especially with a smart dog. If every time you step up to your dog, you don't pause for three seconds, you release them, you're gonna have an anxious dog. Teach them temperance. Teach them to be still and know that you're in control, yes? So you walk back to the dog, you pause for three seconds, one, two, three in your head, yes? After the three seconds, you grab the leash in a manner that isn't super obvious. Normally what I do is I'll grab the leash near the clasp and I'll pet as I grab it so they're more focused on my petting than they are me grabbing the leash. It's a mistake for an intelligent dog to see you drop and pick up the leash in my opinion. Another big mistake, hopefully he'll get up. I want him to mess up. Cranberry, walk up to the leash and bend over like you're gonna pick it up, please. Oh my lord, please don't do that. To a dog, it looks like you're being submissive or like you're enticing him to play or at the very least, like you're walking up to him like kind of cowering for his approval, right? And look at him laying there like a king. No, sir, that is not the way we do it. Not at all. <laughs> all right, the way we do it is we walk back up to him calmly. Walk up to him, please. Pause for three seconds. There you go, real slow motion. Pause for three seconds, one, two, three. Now grab the leash and you're gonna grab the leash near the clasp. Good, and pet him so he's unaware of it. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna tell him to go bananas and you can do it while he's laying down. And after you tell him to go bananas, you're going to go ahead and take the leash and collar off of him. Okay. Because you haven't done that with him a lot, okay? I've been watching you a lot with this one. Go ahead and tell him to go bananas and take the leash and training collar off of him, please. Okay. It's okay if he's underneath there. You didn't, you nailed it. Bananas. You nailed it, my man. Damn it, I'm so proud of you right now, Cranberry. I'm, I might be a little more proud of honest, just a little bit. But ultimately, I'm so proud of you, bud. Killing it, man. Listen, I'd really appreciate it whenever we're training and we have handling errors because you learn through the handling errors. Nobody's perfect. You know, trainers like to come on here, watch my videos and criticize some of the handling. Well, guess what? We're real people. Trainers rarely show you the negative. They'll always show you a finished product or they'll show you dogs like that Belgian Malinois, Coco. She's easy to train. Dogs like Kino, and then some dogs like Honor, some dogs like Core, that's gonna be difficult, but stick around, we got a lot of content coming. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Paul the bell so you'll be notified when we upload a video. We got a lot of content coming. Good, 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 good. Now good. that is going to the silence.